a great brand. Mm-hmm. And they do locks for businesses, for Airbnbs, so, so people don't have to be there with the physical key and everything. It's a, it's a great business. And, and it's a great product, great packaging, looks a bit like Apple, you know. And uh, so it's all good. The name is called Igloo Home. Cold. And yeah, I'm thinking igloo. Igloo is is what refrigeration, air conditioning. I'm thinking snow, right? I'm thinking you know. Mm. And um, so I'm so I asked them, why have you have you chosen that name, right? Because you assume they went through a process, and then uh, they didn't. The only thing they thought about was they looked at, oh, we want to be a big global brand. We want to be Google. We want to be Facebook. We want to be Yahoo. Yeah. And what do all these three have in common? Double O. That's why they chose something with double O. Right. And I was right. like, if if you watch it and you see my face, I'm like, what? This was the re. Nobody will get that. Nobody will get that. And you're just confusing people by saying you're something which you're actually not. Mm. Too late now. They're established. The name is out there. They're doing okay. So they have to make the most of it, right? But so if you ask me, what's the biggest mistake they make well they don't think about it from the beginning which is understandable but still a mistake because the the brand name stems from the identity right yeah the, the brand name is the introduction like how as like i introduce you on on the podcast because that's your identity that's how um besides your visual how are the audience come into contact with you and it's the same thing with brand what you said perfectly which is the experience so the mm-hmm. very first point is the brand name they're the colors the, the creative aspect of things what do, who are they serving what problems are they fixing etc mm-hmm. etc et that's really interesting and from your perspective in today's with digital technology the transformation going on or what um, certain prominent figures say the new world order how do you think this new digital age is going to cost or have a link with the business world, especially with the way marketing and branding is being done today? Okay. I think um, it, of course, affects the business world in mm. many, many, many ways, right? We need to, we need five more podcasts to talk about that. Yeah, there's so, there's so many things I want to talk about, like brand positioning, um, colors. Yeah. <laughs> so, But for now, yeah. um, I think uh, it um, influences them in, in a number of ways. First of all, um, it makes communication... Sure both harder and easier, right? Why does it make it harder? Because you have more channels to work with, right? Mm -hmm. And channels are changing all the time, right? So youngsters are leaving Facebook and they're going to TikTok and Snapchat and I don't know what. And uh, you need to to catch up, right? If you want to catch them where they are because Mm -hmm. it's a moving target, right? Mm -hmm. Um, But it's also positive because uh, you have a lot of um, opportunities to do things um, which don't cost as much money as they used to cost because all of a sudden you have digital channels. Yesterday yep. I gave a, gave a talk um, for non-for-profits, branding for non-for-profits. Sure. And uh, so they, they said, how can we communicate? We don't have big budgets because they don't, mm. right? And even if they have, they cannot be seen to be spending it because it's a bit frivolous to spend it on advertising. Sure. Because it um, comes across as, oh, you're a nonprofit. Or are you putting out yeah. this amount of cash? And this is people's spend. donations, yep. right? They should go to the whoever, the blind yep. and the poor and whoever, right? And, uh, uh, and then I said, look, now with digital media, you have a lot of more opportunities than you had before. Before, it cost you money. Whatever you did before, if you want to go into newspapers or magazines, or it, there was money involved, right? Now, you can have your own um, platforms, right? Mm. You can have your own Facebook page, your own Instagram page, and your it's own free. YouTube channel. Yeah, and it's so free. So much easier. So all you need yeah. to do is, is produce some content, right? And you probably have, if you're an for profit you probably have interesting stories to tell about uh, the people who Certainly. have been helped out of poverty, whatever, right? So I yep. think uh, the digital revolution that we see is also an opportunity for for many who weren't able in the past to get their message out in a in a uh, effective way to do mm-hmm. that without without breaking the bank. So so it's a it's a good opportunity. We just need to be. Um, um, balanced and and uh, careful the way way we use it, right? Because of course, because of that, uh, all this kind of information comes through, fake news comes through, people panic buy, and you know all of that, right? So that's the downside, I guess. 
Oh man, and talking about this, so now with the coronavirus going on, you know, a lot, which is quite normal, a lot of business owners, entre- what do you think of advertising, marketing, and branding? Is there one that is more important than the other? Okay. Actually, I wanted to ask you <laughs> that okay. strategy that you told us at the beginning with the sure. outstretched hand and everything, has sure. that been successful?